banana, banana, banana. Going bananas. Banana. Nice, nice. Banana. Sweet, sweet. Banana. Banana, 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 banana. Ring, 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 ring. Banana song. It's bananas. Where's the love for the banana? It's bananas show. It's Jana Banana with Real Radio 104.1 The Phillips File. And this weekend, headdress ball. Mark your calendar if you're a diva. Get out your lipstick, put on some high heels, even a feather boa, and come out and support Hope and Help Center of Central Florida. Last year we raised $300,000. This year, it's gonna be bigger and better. It's the 21st anniversary and it is a spectacle. I'm talking headdresses all the way to the ceiling, 13 feet high, 15 feet wide, and it is always such a good time. I can't wait, I hope to see you there. We are celebrating the 21st birthday of the Headdress Ball. Last year, I was lucky enough to be the winner. This year, I'm judging. It's always a good time. It's one of my favorite events. It's where everyone can be a diva. Let's party, shall we? You're here at this event every year. What does it mean to you? It's a chance for the community to come together and celebrate one more successful year that Hope and Health has had and also one more successful year that we've had against the fight of HIV and AIDS. <laughs> Have you been spending all day primping, makeup, all that fun stuff? Unlike most ladies, I wake up this way. I'm just naturally beautiful. Oh, I love that. Now, will you be doing some hosting as people come in and all that fun stuff? That I will. I am once again your red carpet hostess. So we're going to be out on the carpet seeing who's wearing what, who's with who, and who's doing who. So what do you think will be the juiciest gossip? Who do you think will have some dirt on the carpet tonight? Oh, well, you never know since it is the 21st annual headdress ball that makes us legal. So basically anything goes. I'm looking for something wild and raunchy and who knows? Now, you're one of the hot and sexy dancers. Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's kind of weird. You're like in an office during the day, and then one time a year you pull out this crazy costume and do this event, and it's all for a good cause, so it's so worth it every year for sure. Explain the event in your words, because I've been telling everybody how awesome it is. How would you describe the headdress? My mom asked the same question, and <laughs> there really is no answer. I mean, it is the fundraiser that tops all fundraisers for an amazing cause here in Orlando. Um, and it, but it, it brings a sexy spin to the traditional boring black tie fundraiser and I think that's why it just keeps growing. Everyone wants to be a part of it. And are you a performer tonight or do you just always dress like this? This is actually my casual attire. This is mild comparatively. I love it. You look great. Have fun tonight. Thank you. You too. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. And I am too sexy for my land. Milan, New York, and Japan. All right, I'm here with Julie Noda. She is the event manager of the Headdress Ball. When did you start planning this event? Oh, I mean, we've started planning this the day after last Headdress Ball. I mean, it really takes that much time to prepare the show and just getting the sponsors and everything that goes into it. We talked to Maggie on Friday, and she said that the event started out, like you said, small floral headdresses, and then they started getting so heavy. Tell us the story there. It was just a small floral competition um, that Sam Ewing, our, co our founder, wanted to do to raise money for the Hope and Hope Center. And after a little while, he realized the headpieces, they were getting bigger and they were getting heavier. And he thought, well, you know, a man would actually do a better job of being able to support this headpiece and what better yet would be a drag queen. So um, that's kind of how the show took its 
its turn to the more risque and outrageous black tie event that it's become. I love it. I love it. All right, how much money are we raising tonight? Well, hopefully we're right around 250000 So let, let's, fingers crossed, the live auction goes well, silent auction goes well, and, you know, of course the dancers that come out throughout the... I've got my dollar bills ready. The cash, put it in there. It's all for a good cause. I mean, when can you actually tip someone in a G-string and it goes for a good cause? <laughs> and we are interviewing some of the models and of course I had to pull aside the one of the potential winners tonight how you feeling are you excited and do you think you're gonna win oh really you should just go out there with confidence I think you should just strut your stuff you're gonna be awesome Ew. as last year's winner I think he has a chance 